guys welcome back to my channel so my name is Keaton if you guys are new here welcome today I'm going to be doing a try on haul and for some reason I've been overly excited for this try on haul because I just really feel like this is the perfect summer haul uh, I've got a lot of new items in my closet that I've really been wanting for a while so I'm just very stoked about it so if you guys are new here welcome and if you guys want to stick around after this video don't forget to subscribe and you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post every Wednesday and Friday on this channel but I post every other day on my other social media so without me talking anymore let's get into the video so I'm starting with items that I have the least amount of clothes from first so I'll just get those over with but the first thing I got is from forever 21 it is just this graphic t-shirt it's a Van Halen t-shirt Halen Halen I don't know obviously it's 2019 no one buys graphic t-shirts anymore because they like them they just think they're pretty and I thought this was pretty the only thing is that I checked out at forever 21 not realizing that it was a size small and I really like bigger size graphic tees so instead I think I'm actually going to cut this into a crop so I can layer it with like a lace black bralette underneath it kind of make it cute and edgy for summer because it's not as flattering just like tucked in so but I really really liked this and I don't know I just figured it was cute so the next item that I got at Forever 21 is this dress so this is as you can tell right here from me holding it up you can't tell on the try on but you can see here it is a little bit sheer um it is a very very lightweight tiger I don't even know what print this is material at first I thought it was a tiger but I really don't know I really love this but online it looked a lot nicer and higher quality than when it really came in the mail um it's very thin it's very stretchy the straps are literally just like a random like bead sewed onto here and like there's no it's just it's just really weird it's honestly kind of cheap but it's cute I actually posted an Instagram picture I'll put it right here um, and it looks really cute the other thing about this dress is that it is lower in the back so you can't really wear a bra with it but I just don't feel comfortable wearing like a cow neck without a bra so I always wear a bra with it and then just throw a jacket on over it so I did wear it out loved it I do think it's a really really cute dress I just wish the quality of it was just a little bit better I don't know I just I was expecting more I don't know why I was expecting more from Forever 21 they never they never give me what I want but for some reason I just thought it was gonna be really cute so that's everything I got from Forever 21 and now we're gonna go into Urban Outfitters because you know Urban Outfitters is my go-to especially for the summer so I wanted to get a little bit of different pieces so this first top that I got I also posted an Instagram picture I'll put it right here and it is just this random like I don't even know how to describe this top it feels so cool because it is ribbed it just looks really cute simple I wanted very simple tops that I could wear throughout the summer this one's not as simple it's a little bit out there and I just thought it was so random and nice so I got this I feel like I could pair this with leather pants and dress it up or like how I did in my picture I, pour, I paired it with a skirt or anything like that just throw it on over whatever and walk out the door that's kind of what I was going for when I was shopping online at Urban so love this so this is my favorite top I got from Urban I am in love with it and I wish they had it in 40 other colors it is this crochet knit nude top I am so obsessed as you guys know with just an all nude look that'll be a little bit of a reoccurring theme in the rest of this haul but I'm so obsessed with an all nude look I know it's summer and I know I need to like get out there and get with the colors but this is so cute on it makes me look so tan I just want to wear this to the beach or just out with shorts I could wear this with like nude jeans or like anything like that I just love it I think it's so beautiful it makes me look so tan for some reason and with gold jewelry a little like shell necklace like tell me this isn't a look this is so freaking cute so love this and I got it in a size medium because uh normally I'm a small but I wanted this to fit a little bit um what am I saying over overly sized I also need to start saying the sizes this other top that you guys just saw the weird colored one from Urban Outfitters I'm looking down because I just threw it on the floor uh, but the weird one from Urban Outfitters is a small as well and then this top so this is also my fave so they have this top on Urban Outfitters that they sell in multiple other colors I'm thinking of getting it in the light pink or they have like a baby blue or something like that but it's perfect it reminds me of Scooby-Doo for some reason I just don't I just feel like the mystery machine in this but it's adorable and I also got this in a medium because I wanted it small but I didn't want it like sucking my body like to me um, especially because it's hot out so this was a perfect size for me I normally wear a small from there but I did get a medium and I love this and it makes me look tan again I think that pastels for the summer are really really in everyone's wearing pastels just to make yourself look tanner 
going off of that pastel trend, I bought a dress, which I have been trying. I literally went specifically dress shopping. I bought a hideous dress that I'll never wear, and I literally am going to sell it on my Depop because I just don't know why I bought it. So, which, by the way, plug, um, I sell so many clothes on my Depop. So, go follow my Depop because you guys are always just buying all of my clothes, and it makes me so happy because they're going to, like, a happy home for you guys. Okay, but anyway, I went dress shopping, and I got this dress. I love high neck on myself, but it is also fitted nice lavender it has a little bit of an edgy look and I wanted to wear this with either Doc Martens or I have some really cool shoes I'm gonna show you guys in a minute but um, I wanted to wear this with just like Doc Martens or something I love this and I just felt like it was perfect this is obviously for when I get my summer bod going uh, because it's very fitted and I got this in a size extra small I think it got in the extra small which I could have got it in a small um, but I got in the extra small because it was on sale at Urban and so they have limited sizes and I was like I could just get extra small and it's actually not that bad it's kind of cute this next item I got from Urban I literally die laughing every time I look at it because I'm just such an idiot and like you can literally tell like I don't smoke weed. <laughs> so I got these pants from Urban before I show them to you and I was originally going to wear them to my nephew's birthday party. It was his second birthday and it was like dinosaurs themed. So I was thinking like, ooh, like I need palm trees, whatever, like vibe. So it was kind of like Jurassic Park, like I could wear these cool pants. So I found these on Urban and as you can clearly see, this is marijuana leaves and not palm tree leaves. <laughs> but I'm so upset because these, like I always order pants from Urban and I never know my size and they never come right and I get so disappointed every single time. These fit me perfectly. My waist, they make my butt look good. They're like flared at the end. They're not skinny, they're just like wide leg. They are literally so cute and they make me look so tan which is paired with like a white top. So I'm still going to wear these. Hopefully no one really noticed because I honestly have no clue on the site that that's what they were. Um, but they have really huge pockets in the back which I love. It's not really a pocket. It's just like this little flap so it makes it look like it's a big pocket. But I just really really love these. I really though died when I opened them up in the mail. And on the website when I bought them it doesn't say like marijuana leaves like none of that it literally just says like leaf print so I was like okay whatever and then I got them in the mail and I was like wait these are marijuana leaves and then I look at the receipt and it says cannabis on it and I was like and then I went back to the website and I looked and the name of them is not cannabis so I don't understand like there was no correlation there honestly if I would have read the name of the pan I probably wouldn't have bought them but like here we are with my weed pants so <laughs> So next up, let's talk about bathing suits. I am not a bathing suit person. One, because I don't feel like comfortable in bathing suits, so it takes a lot for me to find a bathing suit that I like. So I have like two bathing suits and I literally just like alternate them and think that they're so cute and they're really not. So I made it a mission of mine to go on Revolve and actually find cute bathing suits that are like trendier than what I normally wear. So I'm gonna show you guys the bathing suits I got. So the first one, I actually wore this yesterday, is by the new brand on Revolve, Super Down. These are the bottoms, they are neon. I don't even know if they're picking up how neon they are on camera. They're so freaking bright in real life. Like they are amazing. I wish that I would have got the top in a smaller size. Oh, I lost my C's. Okay. No, I'm yawning. Okay. Anyway, I wish I would have got the top in a smaller size. It is a small. I wish I would have got it in like extra small because it doesn't have any padding. And without padding, it doesn't like lift anything. It's sort of just like floppy and I hate that for my boobs. So I wish I would have got a smaller size, but I'm a size small in the top and I am a small in the bottoms. I absolutely love this. It fits great. I think I'm going to get more bathing suits from Superdown because they're really affordable and good quality. Next up from Revolve, I got this bathing suit, which is very out of my comfort zone, but it is like a lavender peach bathing suit. The top is one of those tops that ties around, ties in the back, and like, I don't know. The one thing that I don't like about this bathing suit, I really love the colors and I love the style of it, but I don't like, it's very, very slippery. The material is very like soft and sheen, and so when you're tying it and you're moving, it easily, easily slides around. I don't like that. I feel like I like a little bit of a more firm bathing suit. I didn't really know that when I ordered it. I still love the color and I love the style. I think it's awesome, um, but I just don't really like how slippery it is, if that makes sense. I don't know how 
what material is this? Like, let me look. Nylon, maybe that's why, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's spandex and nylon are the materials of this and it's just one of those bathing suits that is just a little slippery but it's still so cute on. So I wanted to branch out of my comfort zone and get one of these. This is actually one of my favorite bathing suits I got off of Revolve. It is also by the Blair, <laughs> the brand Love Wave. So it is this maroon bathing suit top. My number one problem that I'm having, me and Lou spent a good 40 minutes trying to, if you guys can see, put the hook of the bathing suit into here, but it does not go through. So it's like, I don't want to wear this to the pool because I'm scared it's going to come out, but like it literally, it's, it's impossible to get. And then like I got it stuck and I can't get it out. So if I do wear this, I'm literally just going to have to wear it with the clamp halfway. Obviously, I don't think every bathing suit's like that. So, like, if you got it, it's not going to be like that. I'm just an idiot. Um, but I love that it's, like, maroon. I don't even know if this is maroon, but I think it's really, really, really pretty. I love it. And I just wanted to branch out and get something that would make me look tan and pretty. And this is just so cute. Next up, I'm a huge fan of Danielle Guzio. And I also have two pair of shoes. Actually, I'll go into those next so that it kind of goes together. But I got a bathing suit by her. Um, this bathing suit is literally so cool. So it kind of looks like a bra on, but that's just the style of it. I absolutely love it. And it also has, uh, no padding in the front, but it has a hole to where you can put padding, you know, from like another swimsuit into here, which I like because then it's just optional and it's really cute. I love this because I really wanted to get a sparkly bathing suit that would help me look more tan and just, I don't know, it's just different. The only thing I wish is that it wasn't like coming off on my hands. It is very, one of those bathing suits that's like the glitter is kind of everywhere. So... Uh, I wish it wasn't like that because I don't really know washing this wise what it would do uh, But I really really like this on and I actually saw a picture of Khloe Kardashian And she was wearing this bathing suit in the pink version which I wanted the pink version And then I decided that was too much for me So I went for the silver but I was like oh my gosh me and Courtney we have to say bathing suit Next up speaking of Danielle Guzio, um, she had a online sample sale and I literally died because I absolutely love her brand. I love everything that she makes, literally every single piece. And if you guys have never seen her before, her stuff is really awesome and edgy and so cool. Um, but I've been wanting these boots for a long time. So I got these because they were on sale, literally. I think these boots were like $110 and they were on sale for like $38. Like, I'm sorry, what? Obviously I feel like it's because she's gonna be getting rid of the style, but like they're still literally everything. So they're just black leather beautiful boots and they have this little buckle on the side um you don't have to lace them up these pair you don't lace them up it's just like a zipper right here i just really really like them and i thought they were perfect they go with everything i don't have a pair of black booties and i wanted something i could wear with more edgier outfits since the boots were so cheap i got two different pairs so i got a white pair as well so this pair is essentially the same thing except for there's no zipper anywhere I already scuffed them so if any of you guys know how to get scuff marks out of like shoes like this with like pleather please 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 let me know in the comments down below because I I have to get rid of this because I wore them one time and this is what happened but I really like them because I just love that the laces go perfectly with this booty and it's just white pleather it's just simple enough but so cute it is a bit of a high heel but I'll make it work because I love them now back to the items I got from Revolve. So again, nothing, I don't think I said this in the, be in the beginning of the video, but this video was not sponsored by any brand. No one paid me to talk about any of these items. Um, Revolve did send me these clothes and Tiger Mist sent me clothes. But everything else, you know, was like with my own money, the shoes, all of that. So my opinions are my opinions, just in case you guys are wondering, just because I'm sent these, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you if they really fit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I got this set from Revolve. I need to look at the brand. I think it's the Lovers and Friends. Um, the only problem I'm having is I got the matching pants. <laughs> As you guys can see, they look huge and they're a size small, but I know I should have gotten an extra small. I don't know why. Um, I took a picture, I will put it right here, of how they look. The pants in the top are so comfortable, it's amazing. I think one thing I didn't think about when I picked out this set is that vertical stripes like this never flatter my body, ever. They just make me look so much larger I, I don't know what it is but just like vertical stripes are just not it for my life and so I love the colors and I love the way this looks but it just personally didn't fit me as well or flatter my body as well 
Next item I got from Revolve. This is also from the brand Lovers and Friends. I got this in an extra small and this is such a cute, simple romper. I just thought this was perfect. It's literally just a black and white polka dot romper, but I really needed something simple, girly. I'm trying to get into more girly clothes for the summer and I thought this was really pretty. My sister's graduation is coming up and this is like a perfect little graduation romper. So I thought this was flowy. I love that it ties out the waist so that it cinches me end but yeah there's honestly not much to say about this it's already just like a very simple romper that is really nice quality and looks really good next up this is something i'm so excited for so i don't know if any of you guys are paying attention as much <laughs> to my social media you guys probably don't care about me but i have an internship this summer so i am here in arizona all summer and so i've been trying to get more like businessy casual clothes there's really no um like dress code for where my internship is it's literally just like you dress cute it's literally like dress up every day so I found this blazer on Revolve and it is so cute because I like that it is a cropped blazer the frayed ends are just like everything and it's nude which you guys know I love it all nude look I just thought this was adorable it is also by the brand lovers and friends and I got it in a size small because I wanted it just a little bit oversized but like this with a really cute like skirt and like a watch like some jewelry like I feel like this is such a cute look I just can't wait to style this and wear this I also think I'm going to New York soon and I'm thinking like should I save this for New York like I feel like this is a very New York streetwear vibe so we'll see where I wear this that's like a plug for you guys to go like follow my social media like haha <laughs> like see where I wear it <laughs> lol no Next up, I posted this picture on my Instagram and I got so many comments saying that they loved this top. So this is the top that I was wearing in that picture. This is by the brand Privacy Please and I got it in a extra small. So it has a little zipper in the back. It also ties across the top, which I really, really like. I don't have the arm straps tied in the try-on because I literally couldn't tie them myself. But you guys get the idea. They just have like little bows. I thought this was a really cute, dainty outfit. Um, again, it's nude, which I think the reason I love nude so much is because I can pair this with almost anything and it's just as cute and it really just like fits my vibe really well. So I love this paired with a bunch of jewelry and watches and stuff. I might also bring this to New York just for like a day, but I think Privacy Please, the brand and um, Sold on Revolve has a really, really good way of doing really nice quality dainty tops. They do that really well, so I really like this. I want to try and buy more from them. Next brand I'm going to be talking about and the last brand I have to be talking about is Tiger Mist. So I work with Tiger Mist literally every single month. They always send me clothes and it's really a dream of mine genuinely uh, because I have been buying from Tiger Mist since I was in high school for like a long, long time. Like they are one of the brands, like I can't even think about how much money I have spent buying their clothes and so it's really awesome getting to work with them so every single time I get a package I'm so excited because there's not a piece of clothing that I don't love so without me blabbering anymore um this is the first item it is this blue baby top uh baby tee top and I got it in a small because I don't know I just thought again it's fitted enough you don't need it in an extra small a lot of other items i get an extra small at tiger mist because some of their stuff does run like a little bigger or a little longer so i wanted to get this i get a lot of questions about their sizing and i got it in a small it just is perfect again i wanted very basic tees that are pastel like i said because pastel for the summer i feel like it's so cute and it makes everyone look so tan also this top right here is from tiger mist as well it ties in the back it's just red cute top again i could pair it with multiple things i am a very very simple gal when it comes to picking out my tops and picking out my clothes i literally just stick to the basics and just put them all together eventually but yeah i really like this next thing i've posted this on my instagram before here's a picture of me in it and this is the silk nude skirt i love the rouging you guys know from my last try all if you guys watched it i'm obsessed with rouging on the sides of t-shirts dresses anything i love this whole look like this trend is everything to me so i thought this was perfect because this is something i've been pairing with like a graphic tee um like a sweater over the top of it i know it's summer but like some places are not as hot as arizona so you could do like a little light sweater a little jacket just anything i thought this was perfect and then i also got it in black because i thought that that would go really really well nude and black the two colors i have the most of in my life as i'm talking about nude and black 
here we are. So these pants, the second I saw them, um, I almost cried. I literally lost my mind. Um, these are the olive pants. I got these in an extra small. Yeah, I got these in an extra small. I am a size 25 waist and I am 5'5". Five five. They, they fit perfectly on my waist and I would say they're a teeny bit long, but you're really essentially supposed to wear them with heels. So with heels, they're perfect and I really think I want to save these for New York. Again, I really was looking for a lot of like business casual but cute clothes. So so that's what I went for when I was picking up clothes from Tiger Mist and these are perfect. They also have them in white which I think is really cute because I feel like you can style those way more than you can style the nude ones but I'm just a very, I'm a very nude gal. <laughs> Sorry if the setup looks different, my camera um, just died but I only have two more items to show you so <laughs> we're hustling through. This next item again, I have an Instagram picture and I feel like Instagram pictures do the clothes more justice because you guys can like see them better but this is the Instagram picture I took. It is this Cameron dress I think is what it's called. Oh my gosh I love it so much. It is so form fitting and the material is like so thick and perfect like it literally holds everything in. I got this one in an extra small as well. Um, obviously you can get them a little size up if you don't want to ask snug but I just felt like this dress was definitely for that. I think this is such a good summer dress because you can pair it with just sneakers, little sandals, whatever for like a little dinner out somewhere. I love it and I wore this to dinner with Louisa and I just thought it was so freaking cute. It has a little zipper on the side and that's really all I can say about it is just that it's adorable and it's really form fitting and cute. Okay, the last item again is nudish brown. So I got this skirt and blazer set. As you guys can see, they look so good together. They're perfect together. And what I really like about them is that you could pair them separately. I can wear the blazer with like white jeans, regular jeans, like cute graphic tee underneath and like style it different. And I could also wear the skirt with like my Balenciagas and like a little sweater or like a graphic tee with it. And it's just so many ways you can style these two pieces. I got them both in an extra small. Actually, I got the blazer in an extra small. Yeah. And I got the skirt in an extra small. So they're amazing and so soft. Again, I feel like this is a very New York streetwear vibe, especially because it's like not as hot um, in New York as Arizona. So maybe when I travel there, I'll do that. Maybe I'll even do a lookbook when I go to New York. I haven't done an outfit lookbook in a really, really long time. So we'll see if I do that. But yeah, this, the, these, I always do that. I always say, I always try to say this and these, and then they come out at the same time and I'm like these, and it, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Anyway, I love these and they're perfect. So I can wear it with my internship and like be so trendy and cute. And now we have the best for last. Um, these are my new favorite shoes and they're not everyone's type of shoes, but they're mine. So these are the Boots by Naked Wolf. It is a brand that has really like out there cool shoes. Their site is amazing and they sent me these and I literally have been looking at them for so long now. I think these are the Wicked Boot. Um, yeah, they're the Wicked Leather Boot and they're just perfect. They feel so comfortable and they just feel like they add uh, just another aspect to any outfit. So again, with the camera dress, I wore the white one with the black. I paired these boots with it and it's like what a simple dress but just adding this made it look a little bit edgier I could wear leather pants with these and put these on it's just it makes every outfit just like a notch cooler I feel like they have some really cool black booties that are like this thick and I want them so bad because they look so cool but yeah I just wanted to mention these because I love them and I think they're perfect they're also very true to size um I am a nine us so I'm normally eight and a half but I think I think in these I'm a nine, especially because they have um, the laces and stuff, so you can tighten them and they fit perfectly. So that is everything that I have to show you guys for this try on haul. I hope you guys liked it. This has been like seriously one of my favorite try on hauls. As you guys can tell, I'm so excited about all the pieces. And again, if you guys like me and you guys like my channel, don't forget to subscribe because it would mean so, so much to me to have you guys in my little family and sticking around talking to me every day. So yeah, you guys can subscribe to this channel and you guys can also follow me on my Instagram and Twitter to stay updated on what I'm doing when I'm not here every Wednesday and Friday. But thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.